If you've not been to Australia, then you don't know what you're missing. It was one of my favorite trips that I took a few years ago. And you know, I used to think Australia was this super hot place, the great outback. I like pictured these tumbleweeds and it's not all like that. There are so many different climates in Australia and it's quite a big country, just like, you know, the United States. So in this pack, we're exploring amazing wines from Australia, but in this case, from maybe some regions or grapes that you haven't heard of. I'm taking us through the great Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon blends that are known in Western Australia in Margaret River, which is not far from Perth, and it's amazing there. Then we're gonna take a little trip to right outside of Melbourne to a region called the Yarra Valley, which makes some of the best cool climate Pinot Noirs, but more importantly in this pack, Shiraz. It's not that minty, jammy Shiraz you might love or know from Barossa, but it kind of reminds me of Northern Rhone Syrah with its peppery and violet quality. And then one of my favorite grapes, Grenache, but in this case from McLaren Vale in South Australia. This expression of Grenache is so amazing. It reminds me a lot of Chateau Neuf du Pas. We're gonna start in Western Australia, just outside of Perth. There's a region called Margaret River. And in this area of Australia on the Western coast, we call it Western Australia. They also say it's planet Perth. Like everything is so small and beautiful. Anyway, in this case, we're trying a blend of Sauvignon Blanc, 76%, and 24% Semillon. These two noble grapes are French grapes, and you most often find them blended together in Bordeaux. In the case of Sauvignon Blanc, you get that citrus and crisp and fresh, zesty quality, sometimes herbaceous. And the beautiful thing about Semillon is it gives you this waxy quality that's like textural. So what's going on with this glass? We have a pale straw color. It's a little bit green, indicating that the wine is youthful. On the nose, it really smells like Sauvignon Blanc. It's grapefruit, white, uh, white grapefruit, lemon, lime, but this is a new world wine and the wine smells a slight bit candied, almost like lime and lemon runts or nerds. But there's an exotic quality to it as well. Pineapple, almost like a grilled pineapple. A little bit of river rocks and some fresh green herbs like mint and basil. But somehow the wine smells round, almost like Kind of a little nutty. Wow. There's that lip smacking, puckering acidity. Kind of wake up call. In Australia, I noticed that they eat oysters with lime and they're so good. I can imagine having like a platter of shellfish and just having some lemon and lime on my oysters and this bottle of wine. Next up, we're taking a little trip to South Australia and more specifically, a region which they call GIs in Australia called McLaren Vale. McLaren Vale was one of my favorite places to visit because I think it has some of the best expression of New World Grenache grown in the world. So this is a property called K Brothers and it was founded in 1890s. There's so much history in this wine producing region and it's still run by um, the family. And actually, I love this basket pressed Grenache. So what do I love about Grenache? I always say it, so sorry if I sound like a broken record, but Grenache is sun-kissed Pinot Noir. All of the silky texture of Pinot Noir, but with this like almost overripe or jammy or juicy style of strawberry. And this wine, you get a little bit of a garnet color. It looks unfined and unfiltered. On the nose, it's an explosion of red fruit, strawberries that are just macerated in the sun, cranberries, raspberries, but overripe, dried red cherries, dried red plums, but then there's this pepper, like just signature Grenache, white pepper, black pepper, pink peppercorn. There's almost like an olive tapenade and like dried herbs as well. And it has some heat, I'm not gonna lie. You can smell a little bit of like body and kind of alcohol and depth in this wine. It makes you really wanna take a sip, so let's do it. 
Wow. This is juicy and delicious. It's got a mouth coating richness. It's long and lingering finish. It's about medium plus in body. I love the little tartness on the palate, but it's super smooth and silky and really generous in fruit and tastes like McLaren Vale sunshine. Next up, we're taking a trip to Victoria. It's not far from Melbourne, and in this state of Australia, we have the cooler pockets or cooler climates. Um, you know, Yarra Valley is one of the oldest wine producing regions in Australia, and in this case, Yering Station, they are making a beautiful Syrah that's co-fermented with a grape called Viognier. This is a style of wine making that they do often in the Northern Rhone, where they take the savory, the peppery, the beautiful Syrah grape, and just add a little bit of a white grape called Viognier. The white grape Viognier gives a slight floral quality that really balances like the hedonistic or like meaty and smoky Syrah. So, cool climate Syrah, how is that different from Australia Barossa Shiraz? It's not quite as big and minty and juicy. This is more of the savory or kind of charred side of Syrah. So we have the typical purple opaque color. On the nose, it smells like bacon or smoked meat or charcuterie or brisket or all of that deliciousness. There's a black pepper quality, which is almost always a signature of Shiraz. Then you get this violet, purple flower, and even a little bit of apricot. Maybe that's the Viognier, but it's really expressive and floral and feminine and pretty. On the palate, it's all about the smoke and the char. This is the perfect wine to serve with a black and blue steak. It is like charred earth, pepper, bacon, smoke. There's a little bit of olive, lavender, and dried herbs. This is just a juicy wine up front that finishes nice and tapered and sour and tart, which is a really beautiful way to cleanse your palate and make you want another sip. I love exploring wine with you and I'm so happy to talk about the cool climate or lesser known grapes or regions of Australia. The Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc blend from Margaret River reminds me of being back near Perth and all of that lip smacking acidity just makes me want an oyster with some lime on it. My favorite grape Grenache is really great when grown in the New World and more specifically in McLaren Vale. Juicy sun-kissed fruit reminds me of just being back in the sun of Australia. And then I love exploring the cool climates of the Yarra Valley and seeing Syrah that can rival that of the old world in the Northern Rhone. I hope you enjoyed this pack. Please let us know what you'd like to see more of in your next weekly tasting packs and find us on social media.